What's up? What's up, everyone? We're back. We're back with the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge. Now, if you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, it's because we had just finished an amazing stream with Julia Masalska where we were designing a very cool summerish tropical uh, composite with Photoshop, Illustrator, and Adobe Stock. But right now we're here at the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge and it's time to take my glasses off so we can actually get in the mood for some Illustrator. Jotirmia, hi, nice to, nice, to, nice to see you. And Michelle says, Claudie, hi Michelle. Uh, I'm Stella, hello, Julia is here in the chat. Thank you so much for hanging out, Julia. Hi, Zach, nice to see you. Uh, Lisa Fernandez was asking amazing questions during the stream before. Rat Money, nice to see you. Quentin, welcome. Colby, Andre, Wideka here to help us with our clickable links. And talking about links, I'm gonna jump into my computer, making sure I'm on the right page before I do so, in order to share with you the best link in order to jump into our challenges. And of course, I'm talking about behance.net slash live, which is our fantastic landing page where you can get all the information you want about those Illustrator Daily Creative Challenges. In order to be reminded about the challenges, all you have to do is to click on the big blue button here on the top of the screen and you will receive um, a little message in the morning that tells you what challenge we're working on. In fact, if you scroll down, you will see all these different cards and today we're going to be working on enhancing a photo playing with layers and often strokes and the pen tool to customize your design. So hopefully this is gonna be a fun one for everyone. All you have to do is to click on get started in order to open the Henance uh, a photo folder, which contains the starter files for today. And I really hope that you um, will download them so you can follow along. But if not, don't worry, those are just there for you to give you an idea of what I'm working with. You can work with your own photo, that's absolutely fine. And then something that is very important here is that our community chat. You can join the community chat by clicking on this a community chat link that you can find on the top of our page uh, but also you got the shortcut coming right above my head boom here it is so is bit ly oops other direction I still haven't learned anything <laughs> bit.ly slash ai discord and this link will take you straight away into our fantastic discord world and our discord is a community chat where you can find professional designer students and of course the amazing adobe teams and the wonderful mentor let me just get into the right page not in all my private chats just joking um here and of course you'll be able to submit your work into the feedback challenge i can see that you guys are still working on last week challenges which is fun fantastic this is a safe space for you to learn new technique for me also to learn new tips while working here with you and remember in order to share your work all you have to do is to click on the link join discord go into your feedback challenge tab over here then click on the plus button at the end of the chat and select whatever image you want to play with um Oh, this is part of the composite that we're actually doing uh, with Julia today in Photoshop and then click on open in order to share. Hopefully we're going to have time to finish off today challenge and we'll be able to share it with the world here on Discord. So share your work, share your work. It will be reviewed live just after me in the session, which actually brings me to uh, what's next, which is our fantastic schedule. So you started the day, this fun, feel creative day at Adobe Live with Shauna Lynn, with getting started in Photoshop. And then for, uh, they, Kathleen Martin started the first challenge of the day, which was the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. And we just finished a fantastic, awfully fantastic session with Julia Masaska hosting me during a photo composite, um, compositing stream and Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge right here going on. We're about to start and logo design will follow with the amazing web, uh, Ben Wagner. And after that, the third challenge of the day. So stay tuned because Edward Pinsky is gonna present the XD Daily Creative Challenge, followed by, we mentioned him today, the wonderful Carl Webster with a draw along lovely session and to close the day in absolute fun, the amazing Voodoo Val with the design off and Delta Tango Mike as a guest. Fantastic, what an amazing day. I'm gonna jump back into my screen and remind you guys to download the file if you want 
want to participate into the challenge click on get started if this is your first time in illustrator don't worry if you perhaps don't even know to use illustrator this is the time to download the app so click on download illustrator in order to get started and if one challenge is like not enough for you scroll down and you'll be able to find julia andrew and all the other amazing people here uh, hosting the challenges so plenty of challenges for you I'm going to jump into the chat and by the way if you're following and watching us from um, youtube make sure to jump into behance.net slash live so we'll be able to uh, answer your question so um mike 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 what day is it um carol i'm not sure your discretion is about i always do the mistake of uh, reading the chat from the bottom to the top so <laughs> half of the time i don't even understand all the jokes um Biola is saying pretty much spending the whole day here yes pretty pretty fantastic day dimitri thank you so much for joining us uh, see me hi Clary, you're back fantastic first time in illustrator don't worry this is a great place to start we're going to talking about stroke today it's going to be nice and relaxed stream to have some fun so um uh, hopefully you already have downloaded the image as you can see is an adobe stock image uh, that i'm going to be using and um uh, I've shared with you the one with the watermark so you you can license it if you want if it's something that you're going to publish uh, I already licensed it because I'm going to be using it in my work here I'm going to go back and see if there is a other question Destiny is saying first time here excited to try fantastic happy hump day discord uh, with amazing mentors Megan say that she made it fantastic Jack Watson is in the chat one of our amazing mentor beautiful looks like we're ready to go fantastic so uh, if you have any question don't forget just drop it in the chat i'll keep my eyes there while i work to make sure that i reply to your uh to your questions and something else that is important and i want to mention oops are our uh fantastic galleries so if you head to behance.net slash galleries slash illustrator you'll be able um to uh, you to see a different galleries of artwork into the different uh, into the different apps so the XD Photoshop and Illustrator and all you have to do is to click here on the tabs of course for Illustrator just click on this one and you'll be able to get inspired by the other work but most importantly if you do publish your own work on your profile on Behance your work can get featured me and the adobe amazing teams angels are looking at your work so make sure to share your work on behance with the hashtag ai daily challenge in order to be discovered and in order to be featured in our fantastic galleries stella stella is asking that photoshop you and julia that completed tomorrow we're gonna finish it off i've not yet finished it tomorrow we're gonna work in more um but the the stream is finished and today we and right now we are into the illustrator daily creative challenge so make sure to download that illustrator file here it is it's called enhance a photo challenge number seven i can't believe that is only two challenges to go it's like crazy and uh, as you can see i've already uh, got uh let me see if i get the right library here i already have my photo ready to go but if perhaps you just downloaded the file in order to place it into your illustrator file all you have to do is to use our fantastic shortcut which is shift command p that will allow you to place this file that browse them into your folder and then bring them straight into illustrator so remember shift command p on mac that's shift control p on windows then go to your destination folder perhaps will be your downloads i believe the mine is here into uh, week two and number seven and here it is so click on place and then click once oops looks like I haven't done it in the right way so click on the image click on place and then click once into the image and into the into the file here it is and this is how your should look like now uh, if you decided to uh, perhaps use another image from uh, Adobe stock all you have to do is to go into your libraries and then search uh, whatever image you want so it can be for example um, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna kid um, running or whatever keyword works best for you now uh go here into your filters and in this case we're looking for a photo and as you can see there's as many photos as you want if 
you find a photo that you like perhaps uh, this one is looking very cute um, or this one here on the beach I think is very nice what we can do is to click on the little plus and it will be automatically placed into your libraries now this is a, a you this is a library that has many different assets remember if you want to create a new library click on the drop down arrow here and click on create a new library and you'll be able to name it as you wish just like so and click on create and then uh, i believe i put my image into vector art in order to move it right click on the image click on move to and the new library i believe was called new library and it moves it there and i'm going to do the same with the other photo uh, that i have already um, licensed which is the one that i'm going to be using for this stream so just to make things a little bit more uh, nice and neat, I'm going to be using this new library, which contains the image that I've just mentioned. Fantastic. Again, to bring in an image from the libraries, all you have to do is to click and drag in order to uh, bring it in. And here it is. So as you can see, because I've licensed it, it doesn't have the watermark. Uh, then you can uh, click on the image and then click and drag into the bounding box in order to resize it. Now, remember in your working illustrator, you must hold on shift in order to uh, resize it proportionally, because look what happens if I don't hold shift and I drag it around, it gets all distorted and hold shift and then click in to make it smaller and click out to make it bigger, just like so. Fantastic. When you're done, all you have to do here is to uh, go into your layers panel, which you find here, or if you don't see it into your workspace, click under window menu and then oops, choose the window menu and then select layers. Make sure that they are tick. I'm going to zoom in here it is. And then once on your layer, you'll probably have just one layer. I'm going to double click and call it background. Um, Oops, background and then you can also double click on the layer if you want to make it easier for you to rename and I'm gonna lock it and click on OK so as you can see all I did is click on lock you can also access that little lock here next to the visibility icon and I'm gonna zoom in again and when the lock is showing it means that the image is locked so even if we click and drag on it nothing happens stays in place and there is no nothing that can happen to our image and all you can do is to toggle um, here the lock so in this case, if we take it off, the image can be moved around. Oops. And if we put it on, the image will be locked. But the reason why I picked this image in particular is because I'm looking to have some fun here in Illustrator. Usually when we talk about photo enhancing, we work um, with um, Photoshop. But the reason why I wanted to work today in Illustrator is because we can actually achieve pretty cool results. So I'm going to now work on the second layer. If you do not have a second layer, the only thing that you have to do is to click on this little icon here. And as you can see, you can build as many layers you want. I actually don't think that there is a limit of the layers. I've done illustration that had 100 layers, I believe, or nearly 100. If you know that there is a limit, let me know, because I'll be loving to uh, crush the limits of Illustrator. But so far, it's been uh, been able to take as many, many layers. So I'm going to double click to rename this layer and I'm going to um, name it outline. And I'm going to click on return in order to accept the little changes that I made here. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on my pencil tool and I'm going to double click in order to bring the pencil tool options. Now, if I zoom in, you can see that one of the most important thing is here at the top is called fidelity. And as you can see, mine is taken all the way to smooth. This will allow you to create lines that are pretty smooth. And of course, what I have to do here at the moment, this is not a line, but it looks more like a shape because if you can see oops, on this side, which is this side over here, actually pointed out, we have a black fill and a transparent stroke. How do we swap them? Well, very, very easy. I'm going to use the shortcut a shift X on your keyboard. So look what happens if I press shift X, I'm swapping the fill with a stroke. So now we have the black on the stroke, which is what we what we wanted. And as you can see what I'm doing here, even if my line is not very perfect and is not very smooth because I've got the fidelity taken all the way to smooth, Illustrator straight away smoothened that out for me. And I'm going to press on Command Z to undo because I don't really need those. Though we're just exa an example and you can also delete them. What I want to do here is to start to draw some fun element that come up. Simi is asking a question to see AI challenges. I have to download AI. Am I right? Well, 
in order to see it all you have to do is to come here on behance in order to play with it yes and you can download um also from our uh, illustrator directly from our landing page so if you go on the landing page here on behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator all you have to do this is the way that it looks like when you open that up and then all you have to do is to scroll down and click on download illustrator and you'll have a free trial i believe for one week you can also google adobe illustrator and that will take you to the main illustrator page but i'm going to jump back just to make sure that we do our little photo enhancement here so with our pencil i'm going to start to draw some little shape like as if there is some smoke coming out of here so just to give some propulsion and again um, i'm using the pencil tool so i can have a nice little fun with my shapes then i'm gonna alt uh, press v on the keyboard to bring up the direct selection tool which is this black arrow over here and i'm gonna click and drag in order to select all the shapes you can also click on one shape hold an alt and then click to select other shapes as well and then when you have all your uh, strokes selected I'm gonna go under properties and change the width of the stroke by uh, making it perhaps three point and also as you can see here the stroke is flat if I want to make sure that it's nice and rounded so it looks like more like a cartoony effect I'm gonna click on the actual stroke with the word stroke and uh, then I'm gonna click on a round cap and on round join and as you can see that has completely transformed the shape of our stroke and look at the way they look like before they were all like chopped well right now they're nice and round something else that we can start to include is perhaps some shapes so i'm gonna go ahead and click and hold on my rectangle tool and i'm gonna bring up the start tool so again look what i've done here click and hold and then just right here at the bottom is the start tool once you click and drag the start tool uh, appears so all you have to do is to drag out in order to uh, make the star bigger or smaller and remember i'm gonna actually um do the star here so i'm gonna click on the star and make it here where it's a little bit more visible if you use the um uh, left the the bottom and top uh arrow keys on your keyboard you can also make a pow star so like a power like an explosion or you can also make a triangle so basically uh, if you press the top pointing arrow on your keyboard you have more sides to your star if you press the bottom arrow you have less sides up to a triangle so at the moment i'm going to use this sort of like explosion little star and i'm going to bring it here uh, just to give it the idea that this is like almost creating an explosion but I'm probably going to make it smaller I'm probably going to make many of those just as if it's a um, tnt i don't know if you guys are familiar but i used to love to play with a uh, crush bandicoot and there were all these tnt explosions i don't know if i'm dating myself by talking about crush bandicoot but that was one of my favorite uh playstation uh, games so here it is i'm gonna start to make um a copies by clicking on option and dragging it there and so, look what happened here so uh, when i was rotating the image the bounding box and this is like a pro tip that i'm giving you here um the bounding box is not straight anymore so look when i create a star or, or a normal shape the bounding box is uh, nice and straight but because this one is being moved around the bounding box is all over the place and that can be a mess when you're looking to align we really want to have these anchor points this point in the in the bounding box looking nice and straight so we can allow our Im our image um to be uh straight and it's not a problem of the stroke in the field because even if i swap, swap the stroke in the field even with the with the with the feel it still looks all tilted so how do we reset it now first of all uh, you can see that if you click on the image and you click on object um i believe um, is transform and reset bounding box so if by for whatever reason it doesn't work for you all you have to do is to go under object and expand sometimes um, you need to expand an object in order to bring it up but look what happened if i click on object transform and um, then reset bounding box 
boom, our bounding box is back to a place where it will allow us to um, align our image with no, uh, with no issues. I'm going to swap again our um, stroke and then you can also use the uh, eyedropper tool in order to lift the same style from another image. Isn't that fantastic? And we have also something very cool in Illustrator which is called Start Global Edit. Look what happened. If I create um, oops, let me just go back and make sure that those are the same. Um, if I create a shapes that looks the same in Illustrator, if we click on our properties and then we go back into um, our uh, Start Global Edit, the first thing that we have to do is to select one element. So in this case, I got our little kapow, little uh, push star here. I don't know what is it called. I'm just making up names, but it's like this explosion, um, explosion star. And I'm actually going to reset the bounding box for this one as well because it's again on my nerves when they're all like tilted i like nice and straight so we can align things properly um and uh, our little our little explosion with one of those selected if we go into our properties panel and then click on start global edits look what happened illustrator absolutely in one second finds all the shapes that look the same that are the same color and the same shapes so for example if i want to change the uh, size of the stroke you can do that in one click now i know we have like five minutes here so i can only do, draw three but imagine if you are actually working and using um this for many many shapes and your illustration is filled with shape now this is going to be a nightmare to go and resize all of them so that is going to be super useful when you start to get an illustrator remember just select one object and then go to the properties panel oops click on the object in order to select it go on the properties panel and click on start global edit and if for example even if i want to give it like a light fill and Look at that. It gives it to all three of them. Isn't that super cool? So you do thing once and you apply it to all the similar uh, object. Andrea, nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me here. It's fantastic to see you. I owe you an email. Uh, bear with me. Uh, Andrea is also a fantastic instructor. Uh, go and check her out. Check her um, channel. She's absolutely amazing. Wonderful instructor and absolutely amazing human being. I miss you and I'm going to be miss you not seeing you and Max. But anyway, let me jump off and let's uh, keep finishing up this illustration something else that i can do here is to play with the shape perhaps with the ellipse tool is to create our little goggles here so i'm going to click and hold and drag to create our circle and there we go we got our little uh, goggle high here make it maybe i'm going to make it a little bit bigger by holding shift and then uh, with the pencil tool we can create another little shape here for the base of the goggle and make sure to lock the shape and then use the shortcut command shift left curly bracket to bring it back and i'm going to use uh, one of these brown color maybe darker brown to bring it uh, more at the back isn't that starting to look fantastic so i really hope that you're actually going to start to use one of your selfies and you can do as much as you want here like you can also start to use the pen tool in order to create a little bit more complex shapes here just like so but of course as you can see you will definitely need more time to play with the anchor points by the way if you um, don't know how to use the pen tool we've done one of the challenges i believe it was uh, challenge number five when we really dived in into the pencil tool and here it is so what we're doing here is uh, simply creating some vector shapes in order to enhance our uh, fantastic photo our really fun photo but i look forward it will be fantastic to see those on discord and making sure that we actually seen some of your selfies maybe you can create your t-shirt or you can create a hat whatever you want the whole point is to use these amazing vectors in order to enhance your photography and remember if you're looking to use more items that the properties panel with the, the start global edit will be and your best friend amazing so hopefully this will be useful time is already done i will see you definitely tomorrow with another stream with julia masaska and then our challenge number eight now stay tuned because right after me we got logo design and then more challenges more drawing and design off thank you so much for everyone it was such a pleasure to be with you and don't remember to publish your work on discord i will catch you there bye everyone thank you so much